Sometimes the best things in life come as a surprise. And from rich pastures of Texas came one of the greatest bucking bulls of all time. A bull that defied explanation. A 2,000 pound animal that bucked harder, jumped higher, and lasted longer than anyone thought possible. A bull that literally changed the game while securing his place in PBR history. Welcome to Heroes and Legends of the PBR, an exclusive series dedicated to the exceptional riders and bulls that have defined the sport. In this episode, Red Wolf. From the pastures of Texas came one of the greatest bulls of all time, another famous bucking bull from the Harrington Ranch. The timeline on trying to get a bull to the level of the PBR tour from the time that they're bred, born nine months later to two-year-old class where we can kind of flank them and dummy buck them and three years of age when they're really starting to show a lot of potential. It's very hard to sit back and wait and let the bull get another year of maturity where that you're sure that he's comfortable not only handling the road but handling the pressure that the Cowboys put on him. It's a true game of patience and one that's just not going to happen overnight when you're out there looking for the special bulls. Generally from five years of age to the eight year mark, if you can get three to four out of them and still have them solid and bucking healthy, that's really pretty phenomenal. When you get in the class where they're nine, 10, 11 years of age, you're, that's when you're looking at the exceptions, the, the really greats. Red Wolf was really big, really strong, and one of the greatest bucking bulls of all time. Red Wolf is one of the coolest bulls I ever got to see. Great big muscled up bull, and then he had these huge down horns. He was just an awesome looking bull. And, and then he would hang in the air when he would, he would turn back, he would jump in the air and kick out. I mean, he, he's one of the most photogenic bulls you could ever want to get on. You couldn't get a bad picture if you got on Red Wolf. If you could ride him two jumps, you would get a good picture. He was a really big bull with really big bones and he lasted forever. One of the greatest, if not the greatest, bull of all time, and I, by greatest, I'm talking about the buck, one of the best bucking bulls, if not the best bucking bull of all time. I had that bull five times, and those are five of my most memorable moments. Every time I had that bull, sparks flew. Just when you think it doesn't get any better, it's fixing to. The last three guys, to the right. Oh, man. Move his feet out, oh. right. Come At the very end of his career, when he's 12 or 13 years old, you could still be 90 points if you could ride him. And uh, there's been very few that had as many miles and as many trips out of the chute with great riders. Here's Jerome Davis from Archdale, North Carolina on Red Wolf. This ought to be good. All right, world champion Death Row, come on, get her done, this bull. They've been 94 on him a couple of different times. Let's get it done. Load his feet out, good recovery. Come on, Death Row, done it again, get back again. Got on to his head, going the other way. Come on, Death Row. All right. <laughs> It takes a very special animal to one, do it as good as he did it, and two, to do it for as long as he, as long as he did. The greatest bucking bull of all time, probably will not be another bull to match him. When you draw that bull, it's kind of like a, just a dream. You know, you dream riding the best, and he's been the best for a long time. Bulls like him, they don't, they don't come around very often. You know, I think if you see one in your career, you're pretty lucky. More heroes and legends of the PBR. Red Wolf, when we return. PBR fans, come to Las Vegas for the 2014 PBR Build Ford Tough World Finals. October 22nd through the 26th. Tickets on sale now at unlvtickets.com. Hi, this is Ty Murray, and you're watching Heroes and Legends of the PBR. Red Wolf. Red Wolf came from humble beginnings in Texas. Riding him became a humbling experience for many a cowboy. 
Well, at the time Red Wolf was retired, he was, the, in my mind, the greatest bull of all time because he really had stood the test of time and only the world champion caliber guys could ride him. Red Wolf would probably go down in my books as one of my favorite bulls of all time. He was a great bull when he come around, he's a great bull when he left. I guess it's the features on him, not only his athleticism and his personality and the way he handled himself, but he represented rodeo in everything that he did. He had the heart that was as big as him almost at 2,000 pounds. It seemed like that's how he bucked it was all heart. Red Wolf was a bull that I really love to get on. He's a bull that sure tests you every time, and you can be a lot of points on him. In my opinion, there's no bull that I've ever seen that enjoyed the game more than Red Wolf. It seemed like when he threw somebody off, he almost automatically made a circle around the arena as it were a victory lap, and uh, with his tail kind of high. He just, he just had an extra flair about him, an extra attitude. He was so big, and it's amazing to see a bull that big perform so well. Man, that bull was awesome. I had him one time as all, and I didn't get, didn't stay on very long, but uh, I sure do wish there was more bulls out there like Red Wolf. It's so competitive that if he threw you off in, at four seconds, that he just kind of made a circle and left the arena. If you rode him six, seven, eight seconds, he was mad. He'd be quivering when they hit the ground looking for somebody to run over. He was just that competitive. He wanted to win every time. And uh, if, if you rode him, you had to pay the price. He was a good bull to get on. You always wanted to get on him. You know if you stubbed your toe, he was going to cost you the bull riding. But any time you rode that bull, you'd be in the 90s every time. So you knew when you had Red Wolf beside your name going into that short run, you really had a chance to win. If there's a better bull in the business, Day in, day out, I have no idea who he would be. Definitely one of my top seven bulls of uh, the 40 years I've been around. He was more agile and active than you would think he would be as big as he was, because he was right around 2,000 pounds and had really big horns where they, he barely fit in the chute because he was a big bull and then his horns were really big. He felt explosive. He's doing everything he can to throw you off, but he felt like a million bucks at the same time. Gilbert says, let's get it on. Here we go. I knew that was a bull that would fit Gilbert Perillo. DJ Cramps, and he's on a good bull, Red Wolf. Well, I mean, 100% and get it done, it's money. Round to the right, and his feet came out, he slapped him. I mean, he's going to go ahead and ride him and spur him. Hey, he's just going to try. The Red Wolf bucks him off, and he's a mean bull. You got to get up and get going. Everybody goes to the wall with that one. I mean, that, that is a, that's a, I mean, he is a monster bull. More heroes and legends of the PBR. Red Wolf, when we return. PBR fans, we'll see you in Las Vegas, October 22nd through the 26th for the PBR Built Ford Top World Finals. Tickets on sale now at UNLVTickets.com. Hi there, I'm Adrian Amorais, and you're watching Heroes and Legends of the PVR. Red Wolf. Red Wolf was one of those great bulls that never won a PBR World Championship. He won the Bull of the Year in the PRCA one year before he came to the PBR. Another great matchup. Here's Chris Shivers on Red Wolf. Ride the bull, Chris. Here we Let's go. go. Round to the right. He's got a seat. Stumble a little bit. Now back Good to the left. Star. Star. Yeah. Isn't this pretty? Down in the well, got a little bit over aggressive, and that bull is wanting to stick it in him. He's a mean bull. Yes, sir. He's just a pasture bull. Didn't come out of a breeding program. First time, we didn't get along very well. The other two times, I rode him very easy. He is looking at Adriano Moraes getting set to ride, and he is on a good bull called Red Wolf. Good bull. Terry Williams said this one here really bucks, and if he does, Adriano Moraes, as good as he's riding, this ought to be a lead chain. Right here to the right. Oh, Yeah, my. coming around. Bought this bull to the national finals last year. They've been in the 90s on him before. Whoa, knocks himself down, hits the gate. Adriano makes the ride. Now, you talk about ride one to a standstill. He said, yeah, that's the one that broke Butch Kirby's ribs at the, at the finals running down the fence just like that. He's a mean dude. Beautiful, 
healthy, and uh, and every time he rode, he would be in the 90s. He was a really cool looking bull, great big turn down horns. He would jump real high in the air and spin, and he was just real showy. When when guys did ride him, they they were a ton of points every time. Red Bull, round to the right, get there, Owen. Out of boy. Owen Marshburn riding like yeah. 96. Look at here, Spurn, he's got the money. <laughs> Coy Hudson. The man on his back. Well, you think, well, this bull's great bull. Coy doesn't have a chance. Well, that's wrong. This guy rides, he, his style of riding, riding back like he does, it'll fit him just fine. Just don't be scared. Hang in there. This bull's going to get it on. Round to the right now. Oh, Coy, 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 sit up on the bar. Come on, Coy. You got a chance. You got a chance. Keep yeah. digging. Yes, sir. I thought I saw Cody Lambert's thumb go it, up. It's 90 something. Oh, yeah. He rode him and jumped off. There's no question about this, Dan. Woo. Look at him. He's already fired up and ready to go. No way he comes down off this bull. To the right first. Here we go. There's right. He's doing it. Whoa, Corey. Doing it. Doing it. Right here. Do it. Reach. Told you. And he bucked him off when he jumped out of it last time. He got, got sloshing a little bit and uh, thought he could have got, thought he could have rode him last time. Knew he was going to this time. Watch this. Come on, Casey. Round to the left end of his hand. Bull usually goes to the right. Casey Gates, yeah. all right, Red Wolf, kind of just nice to ride for him, but Casey Gates takes advantage of it. But did you see the way he rode him? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was almost easy. Yeah, Red Wolf, he can be over 90. That's all he's got to do. He's got to make one. He's been on him before. Here's Terry Don West, Donnie, from Henrietta, Oklahoma. Another Terry Williams bull. This is Red Wolf. Should be good watching. Terry Don, I mean, he's been a multiple winner. Only thing he didn't win was the PBR World Championship, and he'd like to get it done. Red Wolf can nice carry you to the pay window. Round to the right into his hand. Now he's going to come the other way. Just got to pay attention. Going to ride him, no problem. Yes, sir. Terry Don West. That, that show me the money time. For some bulls, a 95.5 is the ride of a lifetime. But for Red Wolf, it was just another day at work. And a high mark hit once again at the 1998 PBR World Finals. It won't surprise me either way. It's a great bull. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Boy, he's gonna hit himself. Hit him. Come on, Cody. Man. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. About the first four jumps, you know, he'd be bucking hard, but it was like he wasn't really trying. But if the guy was stuck to him and making a ride, he would kind of catch another gear and really start bucking. You know, he had a scary side to him. You know, he would he would try to get a horn on you, and like if he did get a horn, he didn't just knock you out of the way. He tried to mash you. You know. Walking right Whoa! up Frank. I thought he was going to lose that foot race. Red Bull, he'll, he'll play tag with you. He was losing. I had a traveling partner that was, was actually stepped on and eventually died a few days later after he'd been stepped on at the National Finals Rodeo. Brent Thurman uh, was when I think of Red Wolf, just because Brent was a, a good friend of mine and, of course, a lot of the other guys at that time. And, and uh, he's been gone 20 years now, and, and that was the bull he happened to get stepped on by. And he was. He wasn't a mean bull, he was just a rank bucking bull. And something that you wanted to get on as well. He wasn't dirty, um, he was really flashy, got, got in the air, a lot of spring, good sized bucking bull, big hooked out type horns, real showy type bull. One of those legends, when you talk about bucking bulls in the PBR, um, in that legends list, he would be on there. More heroes and legends of the PBR, Red Wolf, when we return. PBR fans, come to Las Vegas for the 2014 PBR Built Ford Tough World Finals. Tickets on sale now at unlvtickets.com. I'm Michael Gaffney, and you're watching Heroes and Legends of the PBR. Red Wolf. That bull was, you know, talking about bulls that understand the game, that bull completely understood the game. And when, when you would ride him, he would try to kill everyone. 
and when he bucked the guys off, he didn't even look at anyone. He just made a big victory lap around the arena and went out the out gate. Ty Murray on Red Wolf. Ty rode him for 92 points the first time, and uh, I think he'll be in that, that many again. He can ride this bull. This bull fits Ty Murray. This will be wonderful. Check it out. He was scary. You know, he was big and strong, and when you rode him, he got very mean. He ran over me on a couple of occasions after after I rode him. Get it rolling. Move it, move it, move it. <laughs> All right, Scotty Webb, one of the foot race there. Hollywood has. Get back in him, Earl. You love it if you have a chance to get on a bull like that one time. For whatever reason, he brought out the best in me. I think I won four firsts and a third on him. And the, the time I won third on him is a night that a lot of people consider the greatest night of bull riding was the 99 PBR World Finals. I always think about Ty Murray at the World Finals and, and one of the greatest nights of bull riding I ever got to witness. And it was a typical Ty Murray Red Wolf matchup. I mean, Ty was a guy that made big moves, an exciting rider, and he had the perfect bull for himself there that night. Just when, your pencil, just, 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 just when you think it doesn't get any better, it's fixing to. The last three guys to the right. Oh, man. His feet out, oh. Right. Coming with the mountain. He made another good move. Come oh. on, Ty. Come on, Putin. Come on, give it roll now. He's going to hold it out of it. You bet you. The best ride I've ever seen has it has to be between two rides, and it was either uh, Ty Murray on Red Wolf or Bubba Dunn on Promised Land. Uh, two great champions going against two of the greatest bulls of all time, and, you know, they're all living legends. This is a bull that hardly ever got ridden. He had been to the NFR, he'd been to the PBR Finals, and um, he was a contender for Bucking Bull of the Year several times, and uh, Ty Murray was 95 points on him. Red Wolf, he just bucked hard, and, you know, that's, like, you know, every, every great bull, that's, you know, what makes them great, they, they buck, buck hard every time. When he kicks, he looks to the right and goes back left. That would fit the race. Here's the race. He gets that tip and he just up there. Jim Sharp shouldn't have bucked off that bull. The bull's first priority is to buck the rider off to do everything he can bucking to do that. But they are thinking about how they're going to throw you off. They want you off your back, bar none. I mean, uh, they want, they just want out of the arena. But then there's some bulls that really, really enjoy that. And those are the great ones. They enjoy bucking. They take their time bucking. They know they're bad. Here we go, round to the right, no problem. Oh, whipped his head up in there and just throws him off. Clint, I, you that know, Clint really off. believed he could yeah. ride. He was a great bull, he, and he, you know, I think uh, last year they bucked him at the PBR World Final Finals, that bull was 12 years old, and that's that's unheard of. These real great bulls, they know what's going on. They, When they load up in that chute, they know they have a job to do. Well, this is, the, the in my mind, the greatest bull of all time. You know, they've ridden him five times this year, but every time, their average of 90.6. Jaron's actually ridden the bull, and he should ride him again. He should ride him again. He bumped down last night off the one that we felt like that he would ride. So, you know, there's a little red on this ride. He's a little bit on the hot side. You know, this will be, be the last time you see Red Wolf bucking in the arena. They're going to retire him. But he may be in the short go-round Sunday. But this is his last event. Come on now. Round to the right, he'll reverse it. Here he comes, back to the left. There there, this bull reminds me, as you watch this ride, this bull reminds me, he's the cow ripkin of bulls. There's never been a better bull than Red Wolf, and as you can see there, that was, a, that was a good bull ride, and the fans love it, Jaron loves it, and he, he's supposed to be happy yeah. about that. Some say it's impossible for a bull that old and large to buck as strong as he did at the tail end of a career. He was a freak, he was a freak. Red Wolf was a freak. He was too big to be as good as he was. He was too big to be good for as long as he was. Too big to be as athletic as he was and get as high as he was and move as fast as he did. Here's Pete Hessman on Red Wolf. All right, the final time you see Red Wolf in action, round to the right, Pete Hessman. Kansas bull rider is going to be able to take the memory with him of riding a great bull both ways. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Good get off. Oh, don't. This bull is after they got Dennis Johnson, knocked him down. Proud bull right there. Tip of the hat to Red Wolf. Pete Hesman. Boy, did you see the flash bulbs going off? Good job. 
Round to the right. Red Wolf has bucked his heart out for many years. Harrington Cattle Company retiring the bull after this event. I didn't look forward to the day I had to retire him, but at the same time I was very proud of that day, simply from the standpoint that there was nothing left for him to prove. He had reached his peak, he'd gone past that and still beat all the young guys. And uh, there was no sense leaving him out there until he just flat didn't have the ability to go any longer. Red Wolf retired in 2000 with a 57.78 career buck off percentage in 45 known outs. The 19 riders that were able to make the whistle on him were rewarded with an average score of 91.82 points. Red Wolf appeared in six world finals and finished second in 1997 in the race for the PBR World Champion Bull title as well as Bull of the Finals. Come on, old man. It's 42 inches tip to tip on his horns. It's 2,000 pounds. Probably the most incredible bull athlete that's ever been in the PBR. Longevity, athleticism, size. Red Wolf is probably I guess one of my favorite bulls of all times. By the time I bought Red Wolf, he was already 11 years old. Uh, Donnie Kish owned him before, Terry Williams owned him before we owned him. And that's from California to North Texas to South Texas, and he's probably traveled in every state in the country. That's one thing Wolf does do, he likes to eat. Red Wolf's the king. Uh, he'll always be the king. It's kind of like in golf, you've got Arnold Palmer, and I guess with basketball, you got Michael Jordan, but uh, in the bull world, Red Wolf is, was, and will be forever the king.